morning YouTube and the internet. As you can see, uh, I'm doing another oil change on the Falcon. I've already done a video on how to do that. Not going to cover that again. What I'm going to cover today is the questions about pre filling the oil filter I've got. <coughs> and um, sort of people are asking why I do it. So I'm going to do a little experiment here and show you exactly why. So one they are out of the standard one I bought this one. It's a super fine filter job. So this takes about half a litre. I've got three litres of oil in here. I'm going to now fill this oil filter up. Alright, and you come in nice and close so you can see. See, look, oh. overflowed. Oh, spill. Okay, that is definitely full. Now, in the next few minutes, all of that oil is going to disappear. Now, I might edit forward. I might edit forward, or I might time lapse this. I'm pretty much going to have to edit it now that the cameraman decided to go all over the place. Uh, if I time lapse it, it'll be to show that I don't pour any out or anything. So I'm just going to hold this oil filter here. I've still got the spillage on the top, it's making its way around. And I'm just going to turn it and tilt it a little bit so that was about half a litre of oil because there was three litres in there before it was just below three and there's I'd say close to 600 mil has gone into that at the moment now I'm going to waste some oil second to show you how much comes out because what's happening is the oil is being absorbed by the filter medium there's a paper filter inside these it's all they are with a metal casing it's just a paper filter and if I look in here now if you come over and you look in there and I don't know if the lights any good they're nice and close you can see if you can see it all, you've got to see there's no oil in there. It's empty. It's completely empty. So, by pre-filling it, we're soaking the media with oil. Uh, the, the, the filter medium. When you, If you don't do this, it's not going to kill your car. It's not the end of the world. It's not a drama. Um, I like to do it because when you first start your car up, if this is empty, the oil pump's got to fill this up, and while this is soaking oil up, less flow is going through the rest because the oil goes from your pickup into your filter, then to your pump and around the engine. Or is it pickup to pump, then to filter? Otherwise, filter's very early in the thing. And whichever way it is, this is going to see oil before all of the bits that need it. So if this is sitting there soaking oil up, now, I'm so confident am I in my test, I'm actually just going to use the box. Now I've got a bit of oil on the top here, so I'm going to clean that off. Okay, so I've put 600 mils approximately of oil in this filter. Look at what's come out. 30 mil tops. So that's how much has been soaked into the medium. Now, just doing that and then leaving that empty and putting it on is much better than not doing it at all, but I like to uh, go back for seconds. And put as much in there as I can, depending on the car. Because, like this Falcon here, the filter goes on on an angle. So you can't fill it all over the top and start pouring out. But I can go close. And I know from experience this will soak up more. So I'm gonna, if you just rotate it, it'll soak the um, medium a bit more and it'll soak it towards the top. Whereas the bottom is fully soaked at the moment, the top isn't. Because gravity. So if we rotate this on its side for a bit. So 
now when I start the car, instead of getting that much oil out of the first 600 mil, I should get maybe 50% of the oil that goes through in the first couple of seconds, which is more than what you would get if you don't do this otherwise. Uh, you'll never fully soak this unless you leave it overnight on a little rotisserie. Uh, but it's better to do what you can, but that's, that's easy, than to not do it at all. So yeah, just a simple process. It'll help extend the life of your engine with minimal effort, no additional cost, because when you top your oil up, uh, after you you know you, you fill it up, you run it, and then you check your oil again. At that point, uh, this will have soaked up most of the oil that, that it needs to soak up. So at that point, you're just adding the oil to the engine instead of adding it directly to the filter. So you don't use any more oil. And it's just a simple thing. I've always done all cars. Some cars have got a nice vertical filter where you can fill them all the way up. Some cars, like the Skyline, the race car, um, the filter goes that way. So it goes upside down. So I can't pre-fill that. Uh, but what I do do is I, is I fill it and then rotate it until all the oil soaks up so there's only about that much left. And then I just slam it on quickly before that runs out. And, that, uh, and then clean up any drips. So that makes sure I have maximum oil pressure as soon as possible. Um, because if the oil pump is pumping air, it's not pumping oil, and it's not working, basically. So yeah. Anyway, back to my oil charge. That's pretty much done. That's gone down, that's now about halfway. So I fully filled it and it pretty much emptied. Second time I fully filled it, it went down to about a quarter. Third time I topped it up there, I didn't fully fill it because I, I don't I need to be able to tilt it. It's gone down to about halfway. So you can see in here, it's still down, if you can see it all. It's about halfway down the filter. So that is fully soaked in the bottom half. Top half's had a good soak. Uh, and I'm going to tip it over. So I need some air gap there so I don't just pour it all over the ground. But that'll um, that'll reduce the oil pump pickup time for the first start from two seconds to half a second, uh, maybe less. And basically prevent startup wear on the engine. And when you've got an older engine, startup wear is going to be your biggest killer. Uh, unless yeah, it's a performance engine, then other things are killers. But for daily drivers, standard cars, startup wear is the killer. Alright, I'm going to keep going, slam this in. Just one quick update uh, for anyone following for the race car, the R32. Uh, nothing's happened in the last couple of weeks. I've just been really, really busy. I've got my engine in the garage. Crankshaft selected, it's polished, it's ready to go. Um, I just need to go get the rotating assembly balanced, the engine bored and honed, and uh, <laughs> uh, the head decked, the block decked, not much else, and then it comes back and I will start assembling the engine in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So that's what's happening with that.